TF Transmission Extension. Transmission is an extension that works with GLTF's core physically based rendering model. Imagine a glass vase. Light passes through this surface as opposed to being absorbed by it. GLTF's transmission is designed to model this behaviour, giving materials a transparent or semi-transparent appearance. Older systems traditionally use alpha blending for this purpose, but alpha blending does not capture reflections from completely transparent materials such as glass. Reflections are an important factor, enhancing visual realism. With traditional alpha blending, reflections are proportional to the opacity of the surface. Volumetric effects such as refraction, which can occur with glass containers like a vase, are covered in another video in this series. Search for GLTF Volume Extension. Transmission provides parameters that allow us to combine effects, such as reflection, in a more physically plausible way. The Transmission Extension provides a single transmission parameter to control the percentage of light that's expected to pass through the material. Giving the parameter a value of zero is the same as not using the transmission extension. Some light is specularly reflected from the surface. The transmission parameter controls the percentage of remaining light that is transmitted through the material. The transmission parameter works closely with several other parameters in GLTF. One of these is base colour, which normally describes the most visible colour on a material surface. Base colour also tints any light being transmitted through the surface of a material, creating an effect like coloured glass when paired with transmission. Another parameter is GLTF's material roughness. A rough surface on the material can cause transmitted light to become scattered or blurry. A frosted glass effect can be created by pairing roughness with transmission. Finally, traditional alpha mask can sometimes be paired with transmission. In GLTF, Alpha Mask indicates where the material exists on the polygon. In the case of this broken window, the black areas, with an Alpha Mask value of zero, indicate where the glass material is absent and so cannot reflect. The white areas, with an Alpha Mask value of one, indicate where the glass material exists and can reflect light. Alpha Mask is a good fit for this type of circumstance. Rendering overlapping transparent objects correctly can be computationally expensive in real time. GLTF makes no requirements on the correctness of the rendering, so engines and renderers can choose cheaper alternatives or fall back to simple alpha blending, whichever is most suitable for the target platform. Developers and designers may wish to take this into account. The transmission extension is compatible with the core PBR material model in GLTF, but it is not compatible with other material models, such as Unlit. Let's take a look at how to set up transmission in Blender. Applying the transmission extension to a GLTF model using Blender is easy. I will start with a model which does not have transmission applied to it. This is the stained glass lamp model which you can download from the Kronos GitHub repository. Before applying the extension, I'm going to switch to render view and set up a background in Blender's shader editor. This helps my preview by better highlighting details like reflections. Blender calls these environment textures. We can do this by opening world properties and clicking the dot next to the color option and choosing environment texture from the menu of texture types. Then I click open and choose a panoramic file to be used as our background. What we are looking at at the moment is the model of the lamp without any transmission applied to the stained glass part of it. If I zoom in, you can see that the transmission factor is set to zero. I can change this to one, which applies the extension to the stained glass material. Here on the left, you can see the base texture for that material. By applying a transmission factor to the whole material, the metal strips, which hold the glass pieces in place, are also made transmissive. To see this effect better, I can export this edited model to a GLTF file by going to File, Export, and choosing GLTF 2.0. Then I give the file a name, 
I will overwrite this file called transmission factor for now and open the file in a web-based viewer. Now you can see that both the metal and the glass pieces are translucent. It is particularly obvious here. This isn't what we want. Uh, we would like to exclude the metal strips from being affected by the transmission extension. So how do we do this? Let's go back to the shader editor in Blender. We're going to use a transmission texture instead of a transmission factor. To do this, I click on Add, hover over Texture to open the Texture options, and choose Image Texture. This adds an image texture node to my shading pipeline. Then I click Open and select an image file called transmission.jpg that I've already made, which corresponds to the metal strips between the glass pieces on the model. You can see here on the left the image texture, where black areas are non-transmissive and white areas are transmissive. I only need one color channel from the texture, so I go to Add, Converter, Separate Color, and then I connect the color channel on the texture object to the color channel on the separate color object. Then I connect the red channel on that to the transmission channel on the materials object. Let's see how that looks in a web-based viewer. I go to File, Export, and choose GLTF 2.0, then overwrite the file called Transmission Texture, and look at that file in a viewer. Now we can see that the texture file has masked out the metal and the transmission factor is only affecting the glass pieces, making only them transmissive. This is great. But now I would like to add a slight amount of roughness to the glass areas so they aren't quite so shiny. How do we do this in Blender? Back in the shader editor, we are going to use the roughness parameter. Confusingly, Blender has its own transmission roughness parameter, but this is not used by GLTF. Instead, we use the parameter simply called roughness here. I'll change this value to 0.5. Let's look at this in a web-based viewer to see the effect clearly. File, export, GLTF 2.0, and overwrite the file called transmission roughness this time, and drop that into a viewer. Now you can see that the glass areas are less shiny and more blurred, though they're still transmissive to the light coming through them from behind. But this roughness factor has dulled the reflective quality of both the glass and the metal work. How can we add shininess back into the model's surface while keeping the glass's transmission of light diffused? It is possible using the clear code extension, which is covered in another video from this series. Briefly, I can change the clear code factor on the materials object to 1, which applies clear code to everything. I want the clear code layer to match the raised, bumpy shape of the metal, as well as the flat glass pieces. There is already a normal map doing this job for the base layer, this one here. So all I need to do is to connect the normal output to the clear code normal on the material. I export to a new GLTF file call it transmission clear code and open it in a web-based viewer. Now we can see that the glass pieces between the metal strips have transmission and roughness applied to them, so they transmit light in a diffused way, but both the glass and the metal strips are reflecting light from their shiny surface. And the metal strips catch highlights along their raised edges. So, now you have an idea of the cool things you can do using the transmission extension with GLTF. I recommend that you check out our other video, which describes using the clear code extension in greater detail. Search for GLTF clear code extension. Planning ahead will always help you to gain the most from extensions. This transmission extension is accessible in tools such as Blender. GLTF's transmission extension enables you to create photorealistic effects with your 3D assets, such as light passing through a transmissive material, while at the same time combining additional effects, like reflection, in a physically plausible way.